Which films make it to the cinemas and which ones have to make do with a screening on streaming services like Prime Video and Netflix is a bit of a mystery. I assume it's partly fashion and partly belief that films aimed at an older audience are more likely to pick them up at home. Really good to see you again. What willst du von mir? Wir sind die letzte Hoffnung, um Hitler zu stoppen. Case in point, an old-fashioned Second World War spy thriller showing on Netflix and based on a best-selling novel by Robert Harris called Munich, The Edge of War. It's an indication of how fertile the war years are for movie plots that I don't think I've ever seen one about the events surrounding Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain's futile attempts to stop Adolf Hitler with diplomacy. I believe the name Paul von Hartmann is known to you. Yes, sir. We were at Oxford together. Munich is the story of two estranged former friends, Englishman Hugh Leggett, German Paul von Hartmann. They fell out over Hitler. Paul was convinced the Fuhrer wasn't as dangerous as he was painted by his enemies. Five years later, he's drastically changed his mind as Hitler prepares to invade Czechoslovakia. Prime Minister Chamberlain, the best I've seen Jeremy Irons for ages, is adamant that peace must prevail. Men and women of Britain and the Empire, as long as war is not begun, there is always hope. In fact, Chamberlain is taking a delegation to Munich to persuade Hitler not to start another war in Europe. What he doesn't know is the existence of a document containing Hitler's real plans, one that Paul has secretly got hold of and will only pass on to his old mate, Hugh. He has a document in his possession. We'd like you to go to Munich tomorrow and get the document. It's the sort of film that generally they don't make anymore, or at least not for cinemas. But on Netflix, it benefits from a solid story from Harris, a decent script from the National Theatre's Ben Power, and good bilingual direction from the German Christian Schwockau, who cut his English language teeth on several episodes of The Crown. It'll be an act of espionage on foreign soil. The cast is pretty good too. As well as Jeremy Irons, it features 1917's George Mackay as Hugh and a trio of terrific young German actors. Janis Nivona as Paul, a touching bit from Berlin Babylon star Lif Lisa Fries and Sandra Hüller, so good in last week's Anatomy of a Fall. It's a bare plan for Europa. Hitler is lying when he claims to want peace. People will suffer. That document is the proof. The story follows Paul getting the document to Hugh under the nose of the Gestapo and then Hugh attempting to get it to Chamberlain. Though getting the willfully obtuse Prime Minister to read it is another matter. Yes, I wanted to have a private meeting with him, man to man, no officials. He invited me to his apartment. What? No officials? Not even you, Horace. Oh, for God's sake, you can't go and see Hitler entirely on your own. Can and will. Gentlemen, we must rise to the level of events. Of course, with the benefit of all these years of hindsight, we've become used to the idea that Chamberlain was one of history's great dupes. The hat, the umbrella, the deluded cry of peace in our time as he waves Hitler's worthless affidavit. It's hard to imagine anyone believing a word of it. Last night's agreement only settles a tiny dispute. There will be others. And I want him to publicly commit himself to peace. But at the time, Chamberlain's mission to Munich was seen as a diplomatic triumph. Such was the dread of a repeat of the recent Great War. And it's to the credit of this Anglo-German production that it manages to capture that era so effectively. What happened to you? Do it. 
One of the great things a halfway decent historical drama can do is put us in the shoes of people who didn't know what was coming. The performance of Ulrich Matters as Hitler is rather more psychotic than usual. Matters was a better fit playing Goebbels opposite Bruno Ganser's Hitler in Downfall, but his scenes opposite Jeremy Irons are still chilling. Wohin wollen Sie? I'd kill you for even thinking about it. Come say here. Munich, The Edge of War is a better film than straight to Netflix might suggest. It's always reassuring in an era of mindless monster movies that a film that tries to include the truth somewhere in its mission statement can still get made now and again.